I first came up to Alaska in uh, 1950 and 51. The Tongass Forest was a unique area like no other place uh, on earth that I had ever seen. 10 foot, 11 foot diameter trees. And uh, it looked as an area to us that one that should be substantially preserved. Every time I come up to Alaska and I'm in the Tongass, I feel like I'm close to my father. This was my father's favorite hiking spot and uh, untouched wilderness. This bay represents what he wanted everybody to see in Southeast Alaska and why it's so wild and why it needs to be kept wild. My father was trying to protect and preserve the Tongass so that future generations could, uh, could come up here. So that my daughter could see it. Maybe one day her kids could see it. And so that's what this area really meant to my father. In the forest ecosystem, everything is connected physically as well as on a bigger ecosystem level. The connections from the fish coming in from the Pacific Ocean, providing nutrients that are then brought up by the bears and spread around the forest. As this dragon skin lichen falls to the ground from upper canopy where it flourishes, all of these rainforests. It's a really remarkable system that we've just come to understand in the past few decades. But honestly, there's a tremendous amount more that we don't know. And therefore, respect for the ecosystem as a whole is actually a really crucial ethic. We can learn to use things from the forest sustainably, absolutely. But it would be great folly for us to think that we can just replace an ancient forest. We don't want to break the whole thing because of our ignorance. We don't want to destroy it. Throughout its history, Alaska's natural wealth has brought men here. Within a few years, the logging industry has grown to become second only to fishing in the state's economy. Man persists in channeling the vast wealth contained in the earth to his purposes. Equipped with new technology, he continues to challenge the harsh, stubborn forces of nature and appears to be winning. I've been coming up here for 39 years. You know, for us, it's adventure, it's family time. It's getting out in a skiff with my nine-year-old daughter and my mother and watching my nine-year-old daughter outfish all of us. Just seeing the joy in her eyes uh, of experiencing what I experienced at her age. My father and I bonded quite a bit just in working together for 20 years, being able to see through each other's eyes. In continuing my father's legacy, I'm creating my own in a sense. 
southeast Alaska, aside from the fact that I love it, uh, is an ecological unit unto itself. Love the ethic and the, and the beauty and the grandeur of the place. And, and then when we got into environmental issues, he just felt that he could make a difference up here. That meant buying a boat. That meant setting up the boat company which to manage it. It is a not-for-profit program. We were trying to educate people on the importance of trying to preserve uh, what is the North American continent's only temperate rainforest. Every year since he's passed, it's always been a little bit more challenging to get here. And it's almost like he's up above laughing. My father was a jokester. Hey, bear. Found it. Wow. My father, uh, we laid his ashes somewhere around here so that one day he'd be absorbed into the area that he loved and worked so hard to protect. As my dad called it, it was, this was his little patch of heaven. There are some enormous trees in here that have been here for you know, thousands of years. And the timber industries would love to get in here and cut this stuff. To us, as a family and the greater family of anybody and everybody who gets an opportunity to come up here and see these trees, it's a part of the American wild that is disappearing. We encourage the American public to participate in conservation issues. As a nation, we have an obligation to preserve the special places that are unique on this earth for future generations. I don't know what my father would say to my daughter. I think my dad would tell her to embrace what she sees, cherish it, because if we cut all of this down, it's gone. <laughs>